Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome back to Vindicta. You might notice I'm in a different camp location. Quite a bit's happened since I recorded, uh, or since I stopped recording on episode 3. Let me get you caught up. It's been a little hectic. And that's mainly because I made a huge mistake. So let's go take a look. Overview. So we were over here at Camp Apollo. Well, we're no longer there. <laughs> so what I noticed, I was gathering up the loot uh, from a Rudy, where we were in episode three. Brought everything back to camp, and I had this intel. It said, assign new officer down here. Well, I forgot. This is a base, and I hadn't discovered it yet because I hadn't been down here. No citizens knew about it. So I was like, well, crap. I ran down there, took a look. Yeah, there's 24 soldiers. A couple, uh, actually, there's three. There were two static HMGs and a static GMG. Now there's three, so they've already started building it up. The build progress is 38%. They'll continue to add on to uh, outposts. That's something that's pretty cool. They'll start out kind of basic, and they'll add fortifications and guns and troops and stuff. So, yeah, assign new officer. So I'm like, well, let me see if I can stop that. So I built a roadblock up here, and I couldn't remember for, remember for sure what exactly building a roadblock meant. Uh, but basically it plops down a, a roadblock and then it becomes an actual like camp. Uh, so I sent a few troops up there and the good news is we stopped the officer. We blew up his truck, killed all his troops. Uh, so I got a little bit of gear from that. But then the camp over here occupied Vigny, sent an attack of like two or three squads worth of soldiers. I think they're still over there. I'm not 100% sure, but... Uh, yeah, so this became just completely unviable. So before all that went down, I loaded everything in trucks, made a couple trips over, and this is our new camp. Camp Sparklight. We're over here just to the right, uh, just to the east of Chipoy. So this is our new camp. I've got three dudes running around. I was doing a little bit of uh, exploring. I think there's an outpost up here. Oh, no, it's the palace. That's why there was a... Yeah, okay. We got the palace down here, which is eh, pretty decent size outpost. There's no actual soldiers there yet. So we got our work cut out for us. I think today I'm going to I'm gonna run down here to Chipoy, get the crates, kind of see what's going on there. And I'm kind of tempted to try to take the palace, but I want to take a look at it as well. I don't know if we could hold it yet. I do have uh, 25 recruits available. And I think I have enough weapons probably to get all 25. I don't know if that'll be enough to hold this or not. But anyway, let's let's head down to Chipoy. And I'm going to let these dudes just do their thing. They're wandering around here somewhere. Three of them. Um, the red jeep got blown up I think if I remember right but I grabbed uh, I grabbed another transport truck and we've got this SUV I did get the repair truck moved over let's hop in here and then oh shoot I forgot and left my wait where'd my pistol go I moved the Vector out. Why am I missing a pistol? That's not good. Arsenal, I think, is in here. Yeah, here it is. That's strange. I don't know why I'm missing a pistol. But I should have plenty of pistols. No, I only have one of those. Okay. No, nope, that's good enough. And, yeah, I forgot to put my phone on vibrate. So it is Saturday morning as I record this. Got a little bit of quiet time. Mrs. Kerbo's away uh, this morning doing some work stuff. So I've got a little bit of time. Trying to take advantage of that and get some recording done. There we go. 
go. Yeah, let's just stick with the pistol for now. A few construction resources left over. And let's see. I always get turned around. This is heading west. So we could just cut across the field, basically. Let me drop a marker down here on the police station. Yep, it's right there. So we're pretty close to this town. It'd be too far from roads, but that's okay. As long as we don't have a bunch of other suspicions stacked up, we can get away with being off-road. Frame rate took a little bit of a hit there. The police truck up there. There's the police. He didn't run out in front of me and get killed. Hi. No, I'm not suspicious at all. I don't think accessing the cargo makes me go suspicious. It's a spare wheel, right? Should be fine. Yeah, just going to leave this here in case I need it, fellas. Nothing to worry about. It's all good. I see there's no police sign on this. That doesn't always work. It tries to put a decal on whichever place it picks as the police station, but it doesn't always work out. All right, we got the usual two crates here. Well, we're just gonna drag this out. Okay, guys, I'm just uh, doing a little clean in here for you. Go ahead and use walk mode just so we don't raise the suspicion meter any higher than we need to. I'm going to load these up in the Jeep and then we're going to head over to the palace there and see how it's doing. I don't know if there's any guns or fortifications there yet. Since I don't think it's occupied, our intel says zero. But it might not hurt to check with some citizens and see if we have any updated info. There we go. Let's go talk to this chap. Pardon me, sir. But hard to get that menu to click sometimes. Let's see if he knows of any other military places. He knows of a few, and we'll... Yeah, we probably know most of them. Yeah, looks like that is all he knows. All right, let's see if we can incite any. Nope, looks like he's... He's not on board with the revolution. Oh, uh oh crap, we're suspicious. Oh, we're back undercover. Who's this guy? He's after somebody. I'm not sure who. I don't know why they dive to the ground like that. It's kind of strange. Alrighty, we're going to head down the road. Let's go check out the palace. Uh, it still says zero, but it says 47% built. So, kind of thinking that maybe that intel is out of date. There are actually soldiers there. Oh, there's soldiers right here. What are you guys doing? Let's 
It's weird. It looks like I ran over something. I'm not sure what. Can I grab earplugs? I did. All right. And there's a gas station there as well. But as far as I can tell, all the vehicles just spawn in with full fuel all the time. There is no, like, fuel economy in Vindicta. Yeah, I see a patrol up here. There's definitely soldiers here. Location intel updated. Yeah. There's 30 soldiers here. That's kind of what I figured. Our in intel was out of date. <laughs> so it's starting to get it built up pretty good. We've got a bunch of uh, ESCO barriers here. Going to be... Oh, there's even some uh, APCs up there. You can see that attack started. I think they're attacking my old camp. Yeah, they're attacking my old camp from the brewery. Uh, there's nothing there except an arsenal box. So they'll just I think they'll just go up there and patrol around for a while. Well, we can't take over the palace. Uh, we can try attacking this town and the police station. Raising a little trouble. So let's go stir up some trouble in Chipoy and see how that goes. I wonder, I wonder if it'd be worth going up to this little thing first. Either way, we're going to get soldiers from the palace coming over, would be my guess. Got Marie up there. Let's drop a marker on that. What's that little uh, little town up that way? Too far from roads. Yeah, I know. It's okay. We'll get back on the road. Don't you worry. Let's go talk to some folks up here and see if there's anything going on. I don't believe there's a police station up here. So we might be able to swing it to our side fairly easily. Guys are running for the hills. Kerbo's here, look out! How's it going there, buddy? Nice vest. Yeah, we know about all that stuff. I bet somebody couldn't have told me about the brewery <laughs> before I plopped my base down over there. Wasted a just wasted like twenty, was it thirty to build? So we wasted fifty build resources. He did know about a, another area, unknown. No, he is not interested in a revolution. How about you, sir? Please toss drugs to one of my friends. Ooh, here he, he's he's on board. All right, Mr. Vest, we already talked to. How about you, sir? Military is so corrupt. All right, he is on board as well. Very good. Our, oh, our influence is actually negative down here. Interesting. So they've already started building up some goodwill for their side over here. So we've got to overcome that deficit. Oh, that says 17, so we have. We can see we're negative 5 here. Negative 6 over there. So we've got to overcome that enemy, enemy uh, recruitment effort, basically. Let's see if there's some more folks to talk to. I think, did we already, we already talk to you? I think we did. 
Kind of losing track, though. Uh, we got some more assault packs. Might be worth picking those up. Oh, we got a guy sitting right over here. Mr. Sunglasses. Police toss drugs. Oh, he's, he hadn't heard of it. He's he's interested now. All right, we are just about at the point where I'm going to start placing IEDs. So since there's no police station here, I think they'll just place IEDs around on the road, uh, which will help when reinforcements start showing up. There's Mr. Vest down there. We've already talked to most people, I think. You know, if I remember right, just firing off your gun. That used to raise it a little bit. So we're at 27. There's nobody here to see me, so I can go right back undercover. Eh, maybe not. Maybe you actually have to kill like a or something. And Malden is a beautiful map. I do have a few mods on. I don't remember for sure which like environment graphics mods I might have. Full mod list in the description, as usual. Alright, we need some more peeps to talk to. He's still chilling over there. I think we talked to all these guys. I have to look and see how many radios I had. Let's grab some of the stuff to throw in the old arsenal. Well, I might have to leave and come back and see if there's any new civilians walking around. the hex version. I'd love to find some more actual carry-all coyotes that I could use. Actually, do I need another covered transport? Might not hurt. We'll get our Jeep, though. I don't want to leave the Jeep behind. And then, wasn't there an SUV here? Oh, that's just a hatchback. Oh, no, there's an SUV up there, I think. Have any friends? <laughs> Need some more peoples. Okay. Your, uh, what's your problem there, buddy? I can't get the selector to come up. Uh, get another SUV. See if this lowers my influence. Any. I don't think it does. I, don't, I wasn't thinking it mattered at all. An SUV tow things grab a rope
Seems to work better going first person for this. I'm gonna get down there without running over this guy. Not sure why he's prone. Unless he heard that gunshot and that freaked him out. All right, I'm going to take this chain of vehicles back to base. And then uh, we'll come back up here and see if there's anybody else. He's back up now. Let's see if there's anybody else to talk to. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back at base. I got the uh, SUV and the truck moved over. It can only tow one at a time. It's found out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take these three guys. So if you go up to them, you can take the, take the whole group. And that puts them on my squad bar. And then we're going to head back over to that town. Take this SUV. Come on, fellas. Now, while I was unloading stuff, I saw a military truck drive by, uh, heading east. Ready. Ready. Um, so that's something we don't know about. We don't have any intel on whatever that is. It's, uh, if they're reinforcing something, or if there's a patrol, I don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, let's drop a marker back down here. So we're the Red Helmet Gang. <laughs> Whee! So in Vindicta, when you're in a civilian vehicle, you're just undercover. It doesn't matter what gear you have on. I like how all the vehicles handle differently. Takes some getting used to, though. Eee, there's my Jeep. SUV is pretty decent, too. Alright, there's a guy we haven't talked to. So they do, do have new guys pop up. Sorry, sir. I won't point my gun at you. Come here, sir. <laughs> he talked to you. Yeah, they're they're getting more on board now that our influence is up. Yeah, we're at forty nine. Nice. Uh, let's see, we didn't talk to Mister Flip Flops down here. Where are you? It's hard to get the uh, the menu to click up. You can also do it through Ace Interaction, but that's often even more difficult. All right, you guys go over there. Let me get my SUV off the road. Yeah, we're up to 59 now. Just a little more and we'll, they'll actually start taking up arms a bit, which will help. Let's see if we can find the guy with the backpack. Oh, there he is! Go, 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 go! I would love to grab his IEDs for myself. And I can... Actually, I can tell him where to place them. Come here. Come here, dude. I need to talk to you. Come here, come here. Uh, I have a suggestion. You want to be exploding something? Show me. So then on the map, we can say, go put an IED here. So. Or 
forgot what is it shift click yeah there we go <laughs> this is cool this took a little bit of i had to do a lot of coding because this was not a finished feature if, if you watch the my beginning episode where i talked about the tweaks and stuff uh these saboteurs are not in base vindicta most of the code is there but it was kind of an experimental unfinished feature uh so i had to do i had to redo a bunch of like the dialogue code and stuff but i got it where it seems to work okay and if it does work out throughout the series and there aren't any major issues with it, I will be cleaning up that code and then uh, make it available for others if they want to make their own build. These features in there. So now he's going to walk down there and uh, put an IED in that spot I told him. I could also just have him give me the backpack. If I wanted to just make sure this was going to work okay. It did in my tests, but you never know. All right, in the meantime, is there anybody we haven't talked to? Camp Apollo was lost. Garrison at Camp Apollo was captured by enemy. Yep. A big surprise there since we weren't there to defend it and there was nothing, nothing there. Um, so I don't know for sure what happens to these. Does that mean the enemy will start building that up? It'll be interesting to see what happens. Right, I think we've talked to all these people. Still at 59. Right, Mr. Backpack's headed down there. So if you don't talk to him, he will just randomly like pick a place on a road or if there's a police station, he'll try to bomb trucks or the building. Oh, there's people over here. Here we go. Nice. I like how they kind of sit around in the ambient positions. Yeah, he is. He is not interested. How about you, sir, in the tracksuit there. That's horrible. All right. Might have dipped us over the 60% mark. There we go. Now citizens will start spawning with pistols. And if any police or anything show up here, they'll start attacking them. All right, he's still walking down there. Let's go. I can talk to him afterwards as well. I'll leave my dudes here. You forgetting to grab binoculars with my uh, loadout. Yep, so he just put an IED down. Now he's going to run away. I don't know if I'll be able to catch him. Okay, he stopped running. That's good. Now they usually have two. I'm going to see. Talk doesn't do anything. I can I can just grab it out of his backpack. Perfect. Enemy meters south. Oh, yeah, sure enough. That is a military truck full of soldiers. Oh boy. What you guys had up here? Three hundred meters. Back. Roger. I forgot to bring a lacquer. All I can do is put a pressure plate on this. Um, I don't know if they'll come up this far on the road, but it's at least something. 
It's also kind of weird that it doesn't mark mine. So let's fall back a bit. Actually, let me get in my car. Can I just go undercover? We'll move down to the other town because I think that's maybe where the soldiers are going. Kind of lost sight of it down there, but it looked like it was full of soldiers. So we need some updated intel. Come on, Slowpoke. <laughs> now, with the AI in Vindicta, you don't have, like, the dedicated classes. Medic, Engineer, that kind of thing. Ooh. Glad you ran out of the way. I didn't see you behind the tree. So, let's, let's give the IEDs a wide berth. And we'll go see what's going on down in this town. Start getting their influence up down there. So that truck could have just been passing through town because the all the enemy's movements are, you know, simulated. If they want to add troops somewhere, they have to actually have the troops. And they have to get the troops there. And if they have a vehicle, they'll use a vehicle. If you blow up all their vehicles, then they have to walk. Yeah, there's going to be police in this town. I need to keep a low profile here if we can. All right, the less control they have, the better. Count me in. They're getting their influence up. Oh, really? They don't tell that on TV. <laughs> so true, friends. So true. All right, we're already back in the positive. Positive six. Oh, there's some policemen right over there. I see enemy, south east. Seventy five meters, strong. Ow, that's my head. Don't shoot that. Oh crap, we got soldiers. This is not good. There's a bunch of police down there. I'm going to try to get to the police station and turn off that alarm. Because they'll be calling in reinforcements with the alarm going off. It's the police station. Yes. All right. Disable the alarm. There are soldiers here. I see a truck. Grenades were effective. Oh boy. to my dudes. I don't know what my dudes are doing. They may be all dead.
Where you at, guys? Over here. Move out. I am suppressed. Crap. He's hit. Friendly is hit. Ah, no. This is not good. Oh, that's a soldier. Yeah, this is all kinds of not good. Throw that in there. Holster my pistol. Got a suspicious outfit. Okay, I'm back under cover again. I am also not pleading anywhere. Okay. Thank you, Vest, for just giving me bruises. No, 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 no. I thought that was out. My guy's dead. I think they're all dead, unfortunately. Yeah, they're dead. And there is no uh, revive mechanic, like I was saying. Well, we got a bunch of gear on the ground. So there is that. It's our... Uh... Okay, good. Wait, influence four? Oh, because my guys died? Probably why. I'm going to leave that there for now. Oh boy, here's all the reinforcements. I disabled the alarm, but some reinforcements did show up anyway. Hi guys, how's it uh, how's it going? The Rustin people. So I knew if I died, it caused influence loss. I didn't realize if my AI died, it did. So we have to go back to just talking to people. Make a note that my vest is there. I'd love to grab uh, one of the soldiers gear because we did kill at least a couple soldiers, I think. But it's uh it's a little hot right now. Let's see if I can move this over. I want to grab my vest. I want to get my guy's stuff. Because everything is finite. Like we have to have this equipment. So a lot of this is just going to be picking up stuff. I'm a little bit suspicious because I've got this backpack. See if I 
jog, it starts going way up. So we have a patrol. Where's that at? Okay. So they're patrolling between these two towns out of Bigney. It's fine. The unknown we found out about. So yeah, this area is going to be really hot right now. So I'm going to have to be careful. And Arma can really screw you over here sometimes. So I don't get any pistol stuff. Pistols are free when you respawn. Dump that stuff out on the ground. That's what I was talking about with Arma screwing you over. Super suspicious. Yeah, that suspicion meter go down. So this has been a, a fairly long episode, but that that's what this is all about. It's uh, it's slow, tactical. So we've got a bunch of gear here to gather up. We got our influence up to 4% and not the greatest, but I need to start talking to people and uh, just getting that influence on up. Grab that vest so we can take that. So now it's just me, you know, picking up stuff. It's not going to be super exciting. <laughs> Round. So I think I'll do that and we'll probably skip to the next day because it's going to be pretty dark by the time I get all this stuff gathered up. And we will just continue the fight next time. And we'll see if we can uh, keep on going. I wonder, I don't think IEDs are persistent. So I might grab one of those in my backpack and then see if those save. Fellas. I don't know that they do, and I, I would like to have them. I'd like to have that ghillie suit, too. This place is just crawling with police and soldiers now. Pretty crazy. Anyway, folks, I've got some loot gathering to do. I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks, as always, for watching. Take care. Whoa, no, don't run into my car. Just out for a stroll. Nothing to see here.